Welcome back to Follow with Freeman. Today, this video is going to be Aaron's two month update. Aaron was born May 13th, 2018, on Mother's Day, and she weighed seven pounds, three ounces, I believe, and she was 19 inches long. Um, she turned two months on the 13th of July, and as of now, she is eight pounds, 14 ounces and 22 inches long so she's right at nine pounds and to be honest with you i can feel it like she's starting to get a little bit heavier she's still in a size <laughs> one pamper and i think we'll be in ones for a few more weeks and as far as clothing go she is zero to three months and i think we'll be in that size for a few more weeks as well because she's not quite ready for three to six yet. So she's eating about every four hours now and she um, drinks um, Gerber Good Start formula. We did do breastfeeding for the first month and I stored a lot of it but to be honest with you, we have not, it's just been sitting in the freezer. So I think I'm gonna start kind of bringing it out and giving her a few of those um, breast milks through the week instead of it just being formula. Because for the um, for this second month, she's just been on formula. And it's nothing wrong with it, but I don't, you know, I just want my breast milk to be just sitting in the freezer. You know, she's eating about three ounces but I don't know, like when she um when she's done, she just started screaming like <laughs> doing all it <laughs> <laughs> like she's still hungry. But I don't want to give her more right now because she's still, even with the three ounces, she still kind of spits up a little bit. I don't know, I might bump it up to three and a half ounces to see how that works because the first month she was um drinking two ounces and then I, st I she started doing all that hollering and then I bumped it up to two and a half ounces but she would throw up she would spit up so bad it would come out of her nose her mouth just everywhere and so I kind of just knocked it back down to two ounces and she did good so now she's back to screaming at me after she finishes the three ounces so I'm gonna take it up a little bit to three and a half and just see how she does because I don't want her to still be hungry I mean she don't cry for long but she, she really be upset with me when that when that milk be gone after them three ounces. So I'ma see how she does the three and a half. If she starts to speed up a lot like she did before, uh, she just gonna have to uh, pump her brakes. She has been sleeping a whole lot better. Um, I wouldn't say she sleeps through the night, but we're getting there. She tends to sleep about, she she will sleep five hours if I let her, but because she eats every four hours, it really just depends on like how tired I am. Like if it gets four hours and I'm just tired and we both sleep, I just let her go extra hour because she be sleep anyway. But I know when she's hungry because she'll, if she sleep, she'll start turning her head every which way, whining. She'll start spinning the pacifier out and then you put the pacifier back in her mouth. She'll suck on it for like five, five minutes, minutes. And then she'll yeah. spit it out again, go back to wine. And so, yeah. But she will sleep five hours at a time if I let her. She still don't stay up that long. She will stay up for about two hours top. And then she starts crying because she want to lay down. And most of the time, I just lay her down. Put her pacifier in her mouth and she goes to sleep. Like, when she sleep, I don't have to rock her. Now, if she look cranky, now I might have to rock her. But most of the time, I just lay her down, give her pacifier, and she just don't be thinking about no better. She just going on to sleep. Being a pretty healthy baby, nothing too major has been going on. Um, last month, she did have a little um, rash due to um, the fragrances in the soap but with a little hydrocortisone cream they cleared that right up and she did have thrush um they gave her the i don't know what it's called but it was like some type of yellow liquid something 
and we did that for about a week and a half and it cleared it back up haven't had any issues with that since then and um let me see she had a little i wouldn't even call it a cold because it ended really really quick it was just like her nose was a little stuffy for a few days and um she never coughed anything no runny nose nothing like that so i wouldn't call it a cold but um just had a little stuffy nose for a few days and i think it was my fault from having the air and the fan and stuff on like that and well, y'all i said it wasn't that much but this sounds like a lot huh <laughs> um let me see and oh now she has a little mild case of cradle cap that i noticed so i had been washing her hair but i hadn't been washing it as much i would probably wash it like once a week but i think i'm gonna have to step that up a little bit and um the doctor recommended that i get just some olive oil to kind of loosen up um the flakes on her scalp so at this point we're not to the point where we need like medicated shampoo or anything like that um i am gonna try the olive oil because i have some there and i think that'll do too because with before i got the olive oil i was just washing it and then i take the comb and just kind of you know just kind of scratch through it a little bit with the comb and it seemed to be working but we're gonna see if the olive oil can make it a little bit better and then if not then we'll probably go to the next step but i i've got i've read a lot of good reviews and stuff on using the olive oil so hopefully that does a good job i'll get back and try and let y'all know um also a few days ago she did get her vaccinations and y'all know it used to be um it used to be where they get them every four not four every six weeks yeah not every six weeks but you know they used to get their shots at six weeks now they do it at two months four months six months you know like that in twos because i guess it's easier to remember that way but she did as expected she did um cry scream all the above and me and Makaya was talking and running our mouth and talking to the nurse and stuff at the doctor and we didn't even realize that she was getting her shots so she was over there crying and i thought she was just crying because i had laid her down because when i laid her on the um on the table she started she got upset she started crying so we thought i'm just she just crying because she don't want to lay down but the lady over there just poking up and giving her all kind of shots but she got three shots and then she had to drink something yes she had to drink some medicine i did give her some tylenol before we went to the doctor so she did not have a fever um that day but the next night when i woke up in the middle of the night she did have a little fever and i gave her some more tylenol um yeah so ever since then she's been okay i haven't i haven't noticed the knots on her leg yet so so far so good yeah Erin is a moving little wiggle worm. Um, a lot of times we put her on her stomach just to give her some little tummy time and she moves her head from side to side and she scoots. And she's been scooting for a while. This is not anything that's just started. She scoops and she do it. I ain't never even really seen her scoop. All I know is I put her in one place and when I look back over, she be somewhere else. <laughs> so yes, she is a wiggly, wiggly baby. She always had her fist balled up. She probably got her yeah. fist balled up. Not because she was somebody squeezed her. She always have her fist balled up and she always have lint in her hands because she grabs the covers, the pillows, the sheets um the blanket on my bed she just grabs it and she just always have lint in her hand she's also been doing a lot better when it comes to us going places because if you all um have seen our previous vlogs i know that when we get in the car and we're going somewhere as soon as i stop the car or slow down or something she goes nuts 
So now she's been doing a lot better. I don't know if it's because Makai is here now, but um, now we can actually go places without her screaming the entire way. And and actually, like when we go to the stores and stuff, she does pretty good. So we have been able to get out of the house a lot more. Now, still try not to go too far, just in case you try to trick me. But she's been doing good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye. <laughs>